Welcome to Tintagel Castle, a name whispered on the wind, a place of myth and legend. Perched dramatically on the rugged Cornish coast, the ruins of Tintagel have captivated hearts and minds for centuries. The castle's origins are shrouded in time, its history intertwined with the legendary King Arthur. Was this truly the birthplace of the once and future king? The stones whisper their secrets, inviting us to unravel the truth. The earliest known settlement on Tintagel Island dates back to the Roman period. However, it was during the early medieval period that Tintagel rose to prominence. Around the 5th century AD, as Roman authority crumbled, a new power emerged in Britain. They were the Britons, a collection of Celtic tribes who fought bravely against the invading Anglo-Saxons. It is from this tumultuous period that the legend of King Arthur emerges. According to Geoffrey of Monmouth, a 12th century cleric and historian, Tintagel was the site of Arthur's conception. Geoffrey's account, Historia Regum Britanniae, History of the Kings of Britain, tells the tale of Uther Pendragon, King of Britain, who, consumed by desire for Igraine, wife of the Duke of Cornwall, sought the help of the wizard Merlin. Merlin, using his magic, disguised Uther as the Duke, allowing him to enter Tintagel and lie with Igraine. Thus Arthur was conceived, his destiny forever entwined with the dramatic landscape of Tintagel. While Geoffrey's account is considered more fiction than fact by historians, the association of Tintagel with Arthur stuck, cementing the castle's place in popular imagination. Archaeological evidence paints a fascinating picture of life at Tintagel. Excavations in the 1930s unearthed the remains of a substantial settlement dating back to the 5th and 6th centuries AD. These finds included pottery shards from as far afield as the eastern Mediterranean, indicating that Tintagel was a site of significant trade and importance. Clearly, this was no mere fortress. Tintagel was a place of power, a hub of cultural exchange in a time of great upheaval. One of the most intriguing discoveries was a slate fragment inscribed with the name Artonu. While this is not definitive proof of Arthur's existence, the similarity to Arthur is striking and has fueled much speculation. The inscription offers a tantalizing glimpse into the past, reminding us that the line between history and legend can be thin indeed. Walking through time. Today, visitors to Tintagel can explore the ruins of the castle, which dates back to the 13th century when it was rebuilt by Richard, Earl of Cornwall. The castle is split across the mainland and Tintagel Island, connected by a narrow man-made land bridge. Walking through the ruins, you can almost hear the echoes of the past. The clang of swords, the murmur of courtly intrigue, the crash of waves against the cliffs. Notable features include the Great Hall, where feasts and gatherings would have been held, and the remains of the castle chapel, perched precariously close to the cliff edge. Standing on the windswept headland, gazing out at the vast expanse of the Atlantic, it's easy to imagine oneself transported back in time, caught in the web of history and legend that defines Tintagel. Echoes of the past. The legend of King Arthur continues to resonate deeply in the 21st century. Arthur's tale, with its themes of courage, honor, and the battle between good and evil, speaks to something timeless within the human spirit. Tintagel, forever linked to the Arthurian legend, serves as a physical embodiment of these enduring ideals. The castle has inspired countless writers, artists, and musicians over the centuries, from Tennyson's idyllic portrayal in Idylls of the King to Wagner's haunting opera Tristan and Isolde, set against the backdrop of the Cornish coast. Tintagel's allure shows no sign of waning. Every year, thousands of visitors make the pilgrimage to this remote corner of England, drawn by the castle's beauty, history, and the enduring power of the Arthurian legend. Tintagel's enduring legacy. Tintagel Castle stands as a testament to the enduring power of the human imagination. Whether a factual account or a work of fiction, the legend of King Arthur has captured hearts and minds for centuries, and Tintagel, perched on its windswept clifftops, will forever be associated with the once and future king. The castle's ruins stand as a poignant reminder of the passage of time, of the ebb and flow of history, and of the enduring power of stories to connect us to the past. As long as tales of chivalry, magic, and adventure continue to hold sway over the human heart, Tintagel will remain a place of pilgrimage, a site where history and legend collide, and where the whispers of the past echo through the ages. 
The wind howls through the ruins, carrying with it the secrets of Tintagel, secrets that continue to captivate and inspire, ensuring that the legend of King Arthur and the magic of Tintagel live on. Please like and subscribe to the channel.